and I managed to spend $171 on groceries, which I'm going to show you in just a minute. After that, I'll get into a couple of the meals that we had, and then what the new weekly average is. So stay tuned. All right, first shopping trip of the week, $153. I said I was hoping for it to be lower, but then realism caught up and there's diapers and there's wipes back there. And so yeah, that was 50 bucks right there. The wipes will last a long time though. I got six things of milk because I really want to try not to go back out this week. I got some more cereal. The pumpkin spice still had that coupon. I went to Walmart again. So I got the mini wheats to go with that and use that $2 coupon. I have another thing of Rice Krispies. We weren't out of the first one yet, but I got it anyway. Dusty Rose did a number on my cheese, so I got another bag of shredded cheese. I got bread. I got one loaf of that one, two loaves of this one. I really try to avoid the high fructose corn syrup in my bread. I know it shows up everywhere, so when I know it's going to show up, I try to keep from buying a product with it. Um, I got hot dog rolls, and then over here I've got hot dogs, so that'll be lunch. Probably two days. Dusty Rose is out of string cheese, so I got her some string cheese to snack on. Well, we all try to snack on it, but she's the one that likes it the most. I got two things of tortilla shells and a bag of tostadas for a recipe that I want to try. And then one bag of chips to enjoy. I've already got salsa. I got the little iced teas for Tim to take to work. Big iced teas to have at the house. Two bags of chicken nuggets, lunches, bananas um, for snacking, one thing of yogurt, a treat for the kids. And then I got, said I got eggs. So another thing of eggs. The lights kind of, there we go. So another um, 36 eggs. And that was only $1.62. The eggs are ridiculously cheap. And then I got pizzas so that we'll just keep these in the freezer so that way one day when we're just tired and not feeling it, throw pizzas in the oven. And I got two loaves of their clearance Italian bread. So um, we'll have that. Everything costs $153, and hopefully I'm set for the week. For anyone who's wondering, I do feed my children fruits and vegetables. They're in the freezer, they're in the refrigerator, they're in boxes in my kitchen. Here's my apples. So there used to be three boxes of those apples. We're down to one. And then other apples that I got from my cousin. She has an orchard and gave us some apples. Um, so yes, I do feed my children fruits, vegetables, regular food. It's just not what I typically buy on a normal grocery trip. I get that at auction or, you know, occasionally I pick it up at the grocery store, but I, I try not to. And I did do Walmart again because it was convenient. I don't prefer Walmart as a grocery store, but honestly, Martin's is out of the way. It's not a direction I usually go. Costco's in Frederick. And so I just did it. I just said, eh, I'm just gonna run in here, get what I need and be done with it. So it cost a total of $153. And hopefully it'll be my only grocery shop of the week. And hopefully it'll, some of it will last me a little over a week. Okay, second trip. I ran out of both ketchup and sour cream. I need both of those for meals. I did go ahead and buy the organic ketchup, Weiss brand, because it was the cheapest one that did not contain high fructose corn syrup. Um, I do avoid that when I can. I found chicken tenderloins for $1.95 a pound. They were previously frozen, so I'm gonna throw them in the fridge and we'll eat those tomorrow. So that was a pretty good deal. And Timothy wanted a snack, so I let him pick out donuts for everybody. And I even remembered my reusable bags. I'm so proud of myself. I never ever remember to use my bag. It costs $17.91 for everything. So a total of about $18 to add to the $153 that I spent the other day. I thought I would try something different this week. 
I'm actually gonna show you the meals that I made. So this, the ones I'm gonna break down. So today, those chicken tenders that I got at Wise, are right there, two packages of them are right there. That cost about 250, and then oil, a little bit of flour, cornmeal, etc. Um, for breading and eggs. The eggs were actually for my chickens, but we're gonna call that. So that was 450, say two dollars of oil and other things. So 650. The butternut squash. The I got this so cheap, so that's maybe 20 cents, including the. Um, marshmallows and then I did an acorn squash it was a huge acorn squash maybe 65 cents on that and then inside I've got apples and some walnuts so I figured for the butternut squash and the acorn squash with some butter and a little bit of walnuts maybe a dollar so I had said 650 so 750 <laughs> And then I did two packs of the instant mashed potatoes. Um, I don't know where I got these, but I was ready for them to be out of my cabinet. So I went ahead and threw them in. And they might have been a dollar, but I think they were only 75 cents or less. So I'm going to call it a dollar fifty, and we're going to say that this meal was nine dollars. Okay. Chicken pot pie. I ended up with two, one is in the freezer, plus some leftover pot filling and a extra pie crust in the refrigerator. My total cost was $8. So that comes out to $4 per pie, unless we subtract for the leftover filling and the pie crust, which brings it to about $3 per pie. And if my husband would eat this, which he won't, that would be 50 cents a serving. And how I came to that is I had to make four crusts and I got five out of it. But I, so I used a pound of butter because I think butter is a little healthier than Crisco. Um, so that was 250 and then 225 on chicken. Then there was some flour, so we'll call that five dollars. Then corn, two cans of corn, that's two for a dollar, that's a dollar. So six dollars. Green beans, that's another dollar because that came out of the freezer. So seven dollars. And then I added some carrots and made gravy from the McCormick powder. So I'm figuring at the top part, eight dollars. Two meals plus leftovers. I'm not gonna complain. At the same time, I can't do it very frequently because like I said, Tim won't eat it. The kids aren't really huge on it either, so that's kind of a meat dish. No, well, it's cheap at least. Okay, so to go along with the pot pie and the chicken that we had for dinner the other day, I also did a roast one night. I did these chicken tostada wraps one night. Um, they were like a melt wrap and they weren't my favorite. We did eat out twice because we were moving a lot of furniture and we were, it was just a really busy week. And then we had one night where we just kind of all grabbed something, whatever we wanted. So that brings us to our weekly, new weekly average. I spent a total of $171 over the week. And that brings our new weekly average down to $235. It was at $241, now it's at $235. And I started that in August, and that's the average per week. And I realized that I only have until the end of December to get that down to $200 a week because I want to be able to start fresh in January, and I really want to hit that $200 mark. So I know that I have to do at least one grocery run, I mean auction run, yeah. Obviously, I'm going to be doing more than one grocery run. I have to do at least one auction trip and BBs, possibly two. Plus, I've got $150 a month going towards the beef. So that's $150 for November and $150 for December. That's $300 in the hole already. So I'm going to have to be really tight from now on in order to bring it down to that um, $200 a week. And again, that includes all of our food for six people, four kids, two adults, 
as well as our pet supplies for two dogs, three cats, and occasionally three chickens. They're free range right now. And then I do also add all of our paper supplies, cleaning supplies, toiletries, diapers, um, shampoo, conditioner, over-the-counter medications. I add all that in as well, and that's again for a family of six. So by December, it's going to be down to $200 a week.